to go right, left, up, or down? Is he ready to move? Is he in a ready position? So make sure your guys, when they get in that stance, that they're ready to go. And it looks the same whether it's a fastball or it's a slider. Does your catcher really get up on the balls of his feet and get his knees above parallel when he's getting an outside fastball? Or the guy that has great command? I'm catching Greg Maddox. Am I going to get up there and get ready for a fastball? Well, guess what? If I don't, then everybody knows when a slider's coming because I'm going to get more ready. So you've got to be in that good, consistent secondary stance. That's where it's going to start from. I'm going to get down from my stance. I'm going to get down to what I call my ideal blocking position. My ideal blocking position, and I'm going to get. The, I'm going to start this, and I'm going to stop it on the first time. We've got four reps here. Okay. Now, if you look at my guy to your left, he's down a little bit lower. His arms are at a V. His belly is showing. His chest is showing. His arms are off to the side. Look at my guy to your right. He's a little taller. He's six foot three. You think about Sandy Alomar. He's six foot five. Arms are all straight a lot when he went down the block. Bigger catchers have a tougher time getting down to the ground, so they have straight arms. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a little bit more flexibility out of Zach and his hips. Get that butt down. His arms can go off to the side. My glove is open. My thumb is tucked. Back behind my glove, protect your hand. It drives me crazy. You watch a big league game, it's unbelievable how many guys when they block, their hands are out. Their fingers are out. Those are broken fingers waiting to happen. It takes absolutely just reps of keeping your thumb inside. My thumb stays inside, it gets back behind my glove. My arms are at an angle off to the side. I want that ball to hit me in the belly. That's where we're all softest. I want that ball to hit me between my belly button and my chest. Now, when they went down right here, they went forward. When I go block a baseball, there's a bunch of different ways I can go down. When I first started catching, I was taught to go forward, go meet the ball. I feel like the umpire shoves you a little bit, and I'm going forward to meet the baseball. On breaking balls and on changeups, and balls are out in front of me. Yeah, I got to cut down the distance between myself and the ball. So there's a time to get closer to the ball, just like they did right there. What happens? When that fastball gets on top of you, and you go down, and you get jammed, you get hit in the wrist. And it's amazing what you can learn from young kids. When I first started coaching, I had to teach lessons in the off season. I had a little eight-year-old 